Well, Egypt has the largest Christian community in the Middle East and one of the oldest in the world. It predates Islam, of course, by hundreds of years. But that community is now under siege, truly. On Sunday, at least 44 people were killed in a pair of suicide bombings targeting Palm Sunday celebrations in churches. We've got some footage of that attack, which is pretty awful. Um, it was one of the latest of many attacks on the Egyptian minority, the Christian minority there. And yet, the American press doesn't seem to care much about it, the obliteration of the Middle East's once large Christian population. The question is, why don't they care? We're joined now by Piers Morgan. He's editor-at-large at DailyMail.com. Piers, thanks a lot for coming on. So you sent out a tweet right after this saying, um, this will not get the attention of massacres in Europe, but it should. Why won't it, do you think? I think, unfortunately, you know, if it happens in the Middle East, this kind of atrocity, it just does not seem to attract the kind of media attention in America that it would if it happened, as we've seen in the attacks in Sweden uh, the last few days, in London two weeks ago. I was there for that. Huge attention in the American media, you know, in Paris, in Nice. These get huge attention. Uh, and yet what happened in Egypt was unbelievably significant. You know, if you look at what ISIS really stands for, what they are carrying out now in the Middle East and in Egypt in particular is a kind of genocidal attack on Christians and Christianity. They want Christianity eradicated and they want to convert all Muslims to their crusade. They want it to be a holy war and they want Christians gone. And I don't think that narrative is getting the attention it should get in the American media and I have to say in, uh, in other media as well around the world. What's so strange is the West is primarily Christian, predominantly. I mean, that's what makes it the West. And yet there's this sense that it's somehow wrong to root for the home team. When something happens to Christians abroad, it's somehow, I don't know, impolite to mention it because it's self-interested. Have you noticed this? Right. I mean, look, you know, the, ISIS couldn't be more transparent. After the attack in St. Petersburg last week, they made it absolutely clear this is a war against the cross. They said that. That yes. was what the statement said. Um, they are at war in their heads with Christianity, not just with Christianity. They're at war with all other religions as well. But they have been singling out in increasingly virulent terms that their real war now is against Christians and the cross. You know, I'm a Catholic. You know, the Pope, Pope Francis, is due to go to Egypt in two weeks' time. I'm concerned about his safety. After yes. what happened on Palm Sunday, I'm concerned about the Pope's safety. He would be a massive target, a massive prize for these Islam Islamist terrorists. And they've made it very clear that he is a number one target for them in their battle against uh, Christians. You know, they attacked a church where the Coptic uh, 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 Pope was actually officiating. So yes. they have made their intentions clear. Now, I think this is a huge story. This is the kind of story that ought to be dominating cable news. Uh, yes. in America. It should be dominating headlines around the world. The, the press in America should be full of headlines about this. This narrative to me is very straightforward. ISIS have declared war on Christianity. I'm not seeing that being covered enough. No. No, basically no one is covering it here. I think you're in the UK right now. But you can just imagine the silence this has been greeted by. You know, here and there a story. Part of the problem is there are no spokesmen for this. So if any, almost any other group was under attack, you would have people calling up TV stations and saying, put me on, I represent this group. Where are the leaders of Christian churches in America, in the West? Stand I mean, I don't want to single anyone out by name, Archbishop of Canterbury, but like, where are they? Why aren't they saying something? Well, I, I couldn't agree more with you. And they're very quick, these leaders, to come off and uh, get on the airways and talk about other atrocities. You know, when yes. uh, a handful of people were killed in London, I was there, I worked uh, literally 500 yards from Westminster Bridge. So I was there within hours of that happening. And I was struck by the immediate race by religious figures to come and talk about this in public. But where are they now after what happened in Egypt? Why is that not deemed to be hugely significant? And the death toll was far higher. The number of wounded was far higher. And yet it seems to be in the eyes of the global media and global religious leaders not to be as important as these kind of wannabe jihadis that we're seeing right. who probably spend too much time on the Internet getting into trucks and mowing people down. Well, yeah, they're dangerous people and they're hideous atrocities. And obviously our thoughts go with the people that they kill and maim and, and the rest of it. 
But actually what happened in Egypt to me with these attack on these two Coptic churches was hugely more significant in the yes. overall war. It looked very tactical by ISIS. It looked like they sent in highly trained people to do this. And it looked a far more coordinated part of a much bigger plot by them to take on Christianity, as was the attack in St. Petersburg. They said it, like I said. They said right. this was an attack on the cross. But again, the coverage of St. Petersburg, the coverage in Egypt, not as high as the coverage of a, That's right. a handful of people being killed in Sweden and London. And I ask simply, why? I think that's, thank you for being such a clear voice in this. Not to mention the Christians in Iraq who have basically been exterminated. Piers Morgan, editor at large, dailymail.com. I appreciate it. Thanks, Tucker.